photojournalism is always about looking at the world, trying to figure out the world, trying to show it to others to say, here's who we are, here's what this is like, we're witnessing it, and looking for meaning in it. The primary difference between assignment work and self-generated work is when you're on assignment, you're hired gun in a sense. The kind of story that might come up that I would think of, Jeff, would be a story that has a little bit of eccentricity to it. It seemed that Jeff would be good for the Pitbull assignment because he's drawn to eccentric characters that he would somehow bring out almost the absurdity of this and this occupation and that there, there would be a ruggedness to the images. The camera feels so natural to me and it has for many since I'm a kid and uh, I fell in love with, with film the smell of, uh, of, of developer and fixer when I was working as a kid in black and white. Just opening up the back door of a camera, the magic of exposure in the darkroom, making a black and white print for the first time as a kid and seeing the negatives coming off of a reel, that stayed with me. Coming from that classic kind of a suburban uh, environment and upbringing, here you are, you're, you're in Mars. Even though it was only about an hour away. When you're out on the street, it's, uh, it's a matter of getting in a certain kind of groove. You don't even think about it, you just see it and do it. You know, it's gotta be quick, because if you don't do it quick, then it's gone, and then you're really pissed. That's the worst. At least have a try at it. So what you usually find is that, at least for me anyway, you don't really think too much. You don't want to think too much. You just want you just want to take pictures. It's just like this quick thing, like boom, boom, boom. That's it, boom. That's it. It's instinct. You you just you just do it. I feel that I never know. Um, when I've gotten a good picture. There are many photographers they will say, I got it, got it. That's cool, but <laughs> I don't know. There's a picture here that I want to see. And for me, it's almost like the same experience or even more intense in a way when I'm looking at the real film on the light box. It's like taking the picture for the first time again. It's like when I bring home, you know, 15, 20 rolls of film to look. Uh, it's like a goodie bag of possibilities. I'm looking at pictures, and that has been uh, my way of, of um, I guess, uh, enticing a courtship with a picture. He'll see something on the sidewalk, or he'll see uh, a, a person walking by that there's just something slightly odd about them, and it intrigues him. and he's just drawn to that. There's, it's almost like he's drawn to the eccentric in the everyday. I think it's exciting to make something extraordinary out of the banal. I'm not the kind of photographer that really needs to travel to take pictures. I am not saying uh, that there aren't extraordinary images being made in, you know, in, uh, in Gaza. And, and, uh, and, and sometimes I wonder, maybe I should go to Gaza. But, I'm, you know, I'd probably get sick and I'd be scared. And I don't, I don't want it, you know. I have Zay bars. I have good food here. And I'm, I'm, comf I'm comfortable. I don't, I'm not drawn to bullets. I'm not drawn, I'm not drawn to danger. On 9-11, I got a call from my in-laws in Chicago or my mother-in-law, actually. And she said, are you watching TV? And so, you know, obviously she alerted me to the whole scenario. And like, oh my God. There was no subway, and there were no taxis to be had. So there's only one way to get downtown, and that'd be to walk. <laughs> 